If you've ever spent countless hours sifting through hundreds, if not thousands of images, you know how time consuming and tedious the culling process can be. Imagine has completely reimagined their culling process to bring us a faster, smarter, and even better workflow experience. Introducing the new Culling Studio. So what's the big deal? Why would you want this? Why would you want AI to cull your images after your wedding or your event? Well, as I said, sorting through thousands of images to find the best one can be incredibly overwhelming. Uh, it's not just about picking the sharpest photos, it's about finding the moments that truly capture the essence of the event. But doing this manually can eat up so much of your precious time that could otherwise be spent being with your family or even growing your business, finding leads elsewhere. Once you start a project, you won't need to switch between apps until you downloaded your edited photos. Now you can maintain full control by setting your ranking preferences. You can either do that with color labels or with stars, depending on how you work. Me personally, I like to work in the star preferences so you can change what keepers are, what duplicates are, and what the standalone ones are. Uh, the way you imagine have it set up by default is four stars are the keepers, uh, the two stars are the duplicates, and the three stars are the ones that stand alone. There's not really any shot that's uh, similar to that. It's just one that could have been taken on its own or it could be a picture of the floor of your feet, maybe. Then of course you can choose the grouping criteria. Um, so I go with the similar, that's the one that's recommended you can see a preview on the right there of what the similar grouping criteria might look like but you might want even less similar or you want very similar so you might want even more results once you've set all your preferences then you can go ahead and hit call and let imagine do its thing meanwhile maybe you can go off get a drink go for a walk literally do anything else. <laughs> Once we get a notification to say the culling is done, then we simply go to review culling. Based on the grouping criteria I had, I shot over 8,000 images from this day, including my second shooter. That's still a lot, isn't it? And it's narrowed it down to almost 1,500 photos. Now, easily the best feature about the culling studio is what they're calling the cull after edit approach. What that means is imagine we'll apply your AI profile to all of your culled images, so you're not just looking at the raw images, you can get a flavor of what your images might look like when it's edited before you send it for the final cut. So there's no guessing like, mm, I wonder what that would look like with my edit, I'll just send it over anyway. No, you can see exactly what it's gonna look like before you've actually sent it properly for edit. Now, there are some caveats to that. It's not going to apply any straightening or cropping or any uh, face skin smoothing, anything like that, but it will of course apply your AI profile the exposure might be slightly off, but it's pretty damn close to what it's gonna look like when it's edited again, so that you get an idea of what it would look like when you do send it to edit. So looking at the Culling Studio, we can see here, so this little number here, that means that it's found four images that are very similar that I need to review. So if I double click, it's gonna open it up in the bigger view. And the four star, this is the one that Imagine has selected, what it feels is the best out of the, uh, the four similar shots here. So looking up, I can then scroll along to the others. Oh, kind of a half kiss there. A uh, little bit of a weird lip action. So the one it selected, that one, I think that is the best one. I would definitely keep that. But let's just say you thought this one, for example, was the better one. You can do a couple of things. You can choose whether to include that as part of the keepers, or you maybe want to swap it out so that you want actually this one to be the four star and the other one can get rejected. Then you've got some keyboard shortcuts that you can do. So looking up here, you can scroll down again to make the workflow easier. You can either swap it out. So S will swap this one for the other one or you can add it as a keeper, so that will include it as a, as a four star as well as the other one, or you can just remove it entirely. So I'm gonna say I want this one as a keeper as well, so I'm gonna hit A for add, add as keeper, and you can see that has now turned into a four star as well. Then I would simply carry on with the rest of the images until I finished. Now, another thing I love most about the culling process is once I've uploaded all of the images from say my big plugged in hard drive, once it's all uploaded, I can now take my laptop and cull anywhere I want. So one of the things that I really love to do is love to go to my local coffee shop and I like to cull my photos there without the need for having any hard drives plucked in because it's all backed up to the server. Now, when you're done and you're happy with the culling process, you can then simply go over to send them properly for editing. Now, what's great about this is because you have already uploaded all the images, so there is no re-upload to happen. As photographers, our time is incredibly valuable. 
And with the Culling Studio, Imagine is giving us that gift of time back. And the best part about it is whilst it's in beta, it is completely free for all subscribers. So if you haven't already done so, then head over to Imagine AI, give it a go and get your time back. Using my link in the description box below, you can get 2000 free edits. And of course the Culling Studio at the moment is entirely free. So give it a go and let me know in the comments what you think of the new Culling Studio. Thanks ever so much for watching this video guys. If you liked it, please make sure you hit the like or share button or subscribe if you are watching this on YouTube. And as always, I will see you again next time. Cheers, bye bye.